track looks like just one line it doesn't matter I'll just alternate if we have two okay I wasn't sure I came up here to talk to him because I, yeah. I, I didn't see you I was gonna let him hit one full lap to make sure everything's good it's cool man I'm Santi, by the way. I'm Matt. Pleasure to meet you, bud. This thing is sick, by the way. It's it beautiful. We'll see how it does. 2.5. It's going to rip. I hope so. All right, you're good to go. All right. a little funny kind of lost the track honestly so uh i really got to get in there and find the find the line but uh yeah the car did it got to remember to look at where you're going and that's what tripped me up so we will see Sure everybody got it. I lost the track right it's, off the bat, bro. It's, it's easy and once all the tire marks get laid down, it'll be easy. Yeah. Like one spot right there where the old track picks up when you're like into your next turn. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I followed that. Yeah. yeah. You're not the only one. All right. You're good to go.
all right, he even got that last run. Shit was dope. So far, the wagon's done all right. We've done three laps. Whew. Got a little smoke coming out of the front end. Let's investigate. So uh, we're gonna let this uh, cool off for a little bit. fluid everywhere that was fun finally got a chance to take my wife for a ride so you know obviously since since we met I uh, I haven't been driving and but it's always been like a huge part of my life so I'm super stoked that uh, I finally got a chance to give her a ride my love finally that was so awesome you did so freaking great it was better than the first three times you went out I think on the so. course it felt really good the car felt amazing yeah he sure all right <laughs> thank you oh my god oh my oh god how you doing oh, oh. God. I'm so <laughs> bro no, not oh dude i cannot believe look at this it's anthony <laughs>
tires. I will not be the last. Nope. Oh yeah, it's, oh yeah. This one exploded a long time ago. We were just like, ah, fuck it, let's go again. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't hear. Mangled. It. Oh, <laughs> Completely no. debeated. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen forty. Yeah, seventeen. So um, I ended up with a cut front tire. Let's go look at it real quick. And uh, everybody's trying to help me find tires, find a front tire for this car, but. Uh, this thing ended up ugh, getting chunked in there. So I'm gonna borrow a sledgehammer from somebody, bang this out of the way. And uh, the crazy thing is I don't even remember it going hard right. There's only one place I can kind of remember that I even have like a deep angle, you know, like, you know, counter steer to the right. And so I don't know when I possibly could have done that. One tire completely shredded. And we've got the other one actually de-beaded. Kind of ate up the wheel a little bit. No big deal. We're drifting. It has been a long time. I cannot believe this guy came over. Completely caught me off guard, man. I'm so grateful that uh, I've got my dad here. I've got my wife here. I've got my friends here. Shit is awesome. Yeah, you got one lap before lunch. One lap? Yep. All right. Go for it. cars <laughs> it is hard to see it, man. <laughs> like, that, I love that line that you took when you went into that back U-turn back there. Thanks. I don't know what you call that section, but... Just the hairpin of the backside? Yeah, the hairpin of the backside. Yeah, I tried to... I left foot braked it a little bit to try and get the front end to, like, hook in harder. Mm. Yeah, that felt really good. And like I said, I think the line is really good, too. Thanks, man. Back. Yeah, buddy.
feeling pretty good. Initiating at the top of second, the car does not break loose. I mean, it just will not. So, uh, you know, I got some shit to work on still, but she's doing it. Doing it. Way underpowered and uh, honestly kind of run out of gear. <laughs> You know, in that, in that sense, the 346s would have been better. Yeah. All right. Just got done with another lap. How My baby. You do an amazing job. It's so awesome to be in the car with you. I feel like the last lap was definitely, like, the best one. Yeah, definitely. The last... Just warm yeah, it's like, re-warmed up. Yeah. The tires got hot. So the car got a little slicker. And, uh... All worked out. Made a minor change to my front shock, softened them up. I think it actually helped. I just initiated in the car. But yeah, super pumped. <laughs> nice last lap. The drone Thanks. guy was all excited because you were like making a, like a smoke show. Man, this has been a really good day. Anthony and Michelle just left. But uh, crazy surprise. Really, really didn't expect that. Glad to have Francis and my dad. Like everybody got a ride. Since we had the um, the issue with that front tire, we ended up having to use another set on the front and whatever. So we kind of lost a set of tires. We're on our last set. Um, we'll call it a day. And how you guys feeling? Awesome. How was your ride? Awesome. You have a, a good ride? Yes, sir, we did. I right. sure did. I had fun. <laughs> How about you, love? I had a blast. You did a really great job. It was nice to see you remember everything with you little muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Going into the very first turn, I was like, I don't even remember how to move my hands. And then clutch kick, e-brake yank, car counter seared, and we're off. We're going. So it was cool that... You know, it just sort of like came back. I think the uh, drone guys got one video of me, so it's gonna be pretty cool. I'll get with them and collect that. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on rocking. All right, this video is getting really, really long and I did a really poor job at the end of the day of getting a close out and uh, shutting everything down. So if you've made it to this far, I really appreciate it. This video got really long. There's a lot more footage, honestly. We've got a ton of footage. Um, and I've definitely got some stuff to work on as a YouTuber, like in that moment at the track. You know, like I, I, I wanna do a better job of explaining some of the things that are going on. Real quick, a shout out to, first of all, to iTrack. I think it's a super dope event. I think South Georgia Motorsports Park is a great place to drift. Um, there's a lot of space. Uh, you run fairly long laps and that just gives you a lot of actual time like in the car driving which is great so shout out to them i think it's a great venue i hope more people show up to it and uh, i hope it continues to grow uh for the sake of iTrack and for the sake of south georgia motorsports park and for the sake of drifters in in general um huge shout out to the drone guys uh Corey, Matt, and goodness, I don't remember or know everybody's names. Yeah, those guys were cool. They were out there working. It was kind of neat seeing the drones flying around us and stuff like that when we're, we're out there driving. So it added another huge dynamic. Now I'm gonna be getting some of the footage from them, but uh, we've gotta let them process and do their work uh cut everything up and they'll let me know when it's ready so that'll come out a little bit later the photographer william beck uh w beck photography on instagram great great shots great shooting uh super nice guy <laughs> like i can't say enough i mean honestly all together like I, I felt like i left with you know new friends new acquaintances new people to work with and and do things you know the drifting world has really become its own economy you know so it's like-minded individuals doing what they do so yeah i can't wait to see that footage 
Uh, I've got some of the pictures up. Head over to my Instagram. Head over to W Beck Photography on Instagram as well to see a whole bunch of other pictures of, um, you know, a really nice day. Um, in terms of the car, so there was... So let's just start with uh, this corner. You know, a few new scratches. Uh, in hindsight, don't blow up your tires. I knew I should have gave it up. But it's been a long time since I blew up some tires, so I just sort of went for it. My dad got a heck of a ride out of it, and uh, we had a really good time. So, you know, it is what it is. I did end up, obviously, chunking these tires. Uh, these things, you know, just have chunks ripped out of them from the frame rail. Uh, so my control arms are just not big enough. I, I need bigger control arms, but I'll address that, you know, at a later date. The Style 32s on the front of the car right now are about an inch taller. They're 225, 45, 17s. So they're about an inch taller than the 215, uh, 40, 17s that, are, that were on the car when I started the day. When we decided to just go ahead and put those in the front of the car, I also raised the front end up about an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch. All that combined gave me a lot of rearward rake which I don't mind, I love my rear grip, but I was definitely trying when setting up this car for this event to reduce my rear grip as, po as much as possible. Um, you know, I've still got like a half a degree positive camera in the rear. It's only got 10K springs in the rear. I've only got maybe a 16th of an inch of toe in. So I was trying to reduce, yeah, you know, I was trying to keep it like fairly limited, the rear grip. I was also running a ton of pressure in the rear tires, but with those small changes we made to the front end, the car definitely had a lot more rear grip. For a while, I was thinking that I was probably losing compression in the engine, which we're going to do a compression check. That'll be all, you know, for the next video, we'll do some maintenance and all that. But now I'm also thinking and remembering all of the event. I think I added a lot of rear grip by just adding that rake. So it's dumping a bunch of extra weight in the back. Uh, Macaluso actually noticed it, like how much rear grip the car was actually making, which wouldn't be an issue if I had 50 more horsepower, but I honestly feel like this car is like 10 horsepower away from like being undriftable. So, um, you know, obviously with the exception of getting a giant runway and just going really fast. Um, so yeah. Uh, either way, the car did good. I appreciate you guys watching. There's going to be a lot more footage coming out. But like I said, I'm going to cut this video here. I really, really, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and enjoying the stuff and all the people who were there that made it happen in the first place. Um, man, it feels good to be driving again. Oh, really quickly. Grip and Slip Motorsports. Um, is my own little store. I've got a, you know, a couple of kind of dealer accounts with like NRG, you know, I've got BCs available. I've got uh, stage wheels available, uh, which I can't wait to get my front set of stage wheels. I think that's going to help a whole lot um, get the correct offset in the front of the car. But if you'd like to support the channel, if you'd like seeing what you're seeing right now, head over there. If you're going to pick up you know a set of bcs or a set of wheels for your car or a steering wheel or a seat or something like that head over there to grip and slip motorsports.com it'll help me out help keep this stuff going and we'll be able to connect you with parts and companies that already have a reputation in the drifting motorsports world and uh so it just works out for everybody i really appreciate you guys watching we'll see you guys next time even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Shit my way uh, or the highway